Representative Slavik. Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Kerber, what's not clear to me is in the past there have been proposals to take the background studies at the state level because mm -hmm. right now most background studies are done at the county level and then they, those are charged to the county is my understanding because we've had debates about this and bills introduced on this. So the state's going to charge a fee for the ones done at the county level or can you clarify how is that going to work? Mr. Mr. Kerber. Chair and Representative Slavik, um, actually for, um, for all, all DHS licensed programs except family child care, the department does the background studies. We also do the background studies for, for the, our Department of Health licensed programs, so for nursing homes, hospitals, home health agencies. We do them for the Department of Corrections. We do them on unlicensed uh, PCA services for personal care provider organizations. Uh, we do them on unlicensed uh, supplemental nursing service agencies, educational programs, temp agencies. So we're doing over a thousand a day now. Um, and so the only ones in the human service, in the health and human services arena that we are not doing are the family child care. And so as, as you recall, there, there have been bills seeking to move those background studies from the counties to the state as happened for um, adult foster care background studies in, in 2007, or excuse me, in 2009, and um, child foster care background studies in 2007. So there's been a gradual move of those background study duties from the counties to the state. And so the, the last holdout is family child care, as you mentioned. So this doesn't charge any fee for those. The counties have their own fee system in place for, for those background studies. So, Mr. Chair, so it, it leaves that intact. It's really the centers that are already um, charged for background studies. It's increasing their fee. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chair and Representative Slavik, it's it more or less before the it was understood that the cost of doing background studies was in part recovered in licensing fees, but it it wasn't quite. Um, you know, what we're reacting to here, there's a, a provision in Chapter 16A that says that if a, if a government agency charges a, a fee for a service, it should be about right. It should neither significantly nor under recover actual costs, unless there's some other statutory provision <coughs> inconsistent with that. And so we have operated under that unless for many years. So um, what, so even though um, sort of the assumption was that the background studies were covered in the licensing fee. It, it wasn't really. And so what we're trying to do here is to figure out a way to systematically recover all of the actual costs and to do it in a way that makes sense. So if a, if a child care center um, can keep its turnover down, well, they're going to pay less of a background study fee. They have a slightly lower licensing fee, and if they can control the number of background studies they do, um, their fees will, will be reflected in that. In some ways, we might see a decrease in the number of background studies we do. Um, there is no limit on it now, and in fact, it's, it's encouraged. If, if somebody's gonna fill a position and they have 10 applicants, there's nothing in the law that says that you can't do a, a free background study on all 10 people and see what shakes out. And so, um, if they have to start paying a $20 fee for those, Probably most employers will narrow that a bit until, you know, do a background study on the people they're most interested in. Um, and so we, we anticipate that we might have, you know, a slight decrease in the number of background studies, but at the same time, you know, providers will be able to control some of those costs themselves. If they can keep turnover to a minimum, you know, there's an incentive there. Is that good? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. I think that's it. I mean, background studies are really important. I mean, obviously, we want kids and child care to be safe, and, and one of the ways to figure that out is, is if you had someone potentially traveling or working at several different child cares um, that, that that wasn't safe um, so I think it's really important it makes sense it's all you know it's uh, it's always complicated mr. chair and with DHS we're just I just trying to understand <laughs> what it means so once I, I think we I almost understand it so I appreciate